Today we're at the shop working on a 2003 Infiniti G35 where we've just replaced the electronic throttle body. After replacing this, now we need to perform the idle air volume learning procedure. Now there's two ways to perform this learning procedure, one with a scan tool and one without a scan tool. Today we're going to do this learning procedure without a scan tool. So let's, let's take a look at that procedure. So we're in the car and we've got our service information system open. And there are two procedures that we need to perform before we can perform this idle volume relearn. Uh, that is the accelerator pedal release position learning and the throttle valve closed position learning. All right, so we're going to do the accelerator pedal position learning first. The accelerator pedal needs to be in the fully released position. Now, important thing to note is if there are any accelerator pedal position codes or throttle position codes present, then this procedure will not learn. This, it won't work. All right, so let's get started with this pedal position learning. Now, it may be useful to use a stopwatch on your phone because you're going to have to time some procedures here. So we're just going to go ahead and start the stopwatch. Accelerator pedal is in the fully released position. We're going to turn the key on for two seconds. Turn the key off for 10 seconds. Turn the key on for two seconds. And then turn the key off for another 10 seconds. Okay, with that procedure completed, let's move on to the throttle valve closed position learning. We'll start this procedure with the accelerator pedal released. We'll turn the ignition on. And then we'll turn the ignition off for at least 10 seconds. And then during this 10 seconds, we're going to listen for the throttle movement. Okay, all right, we're good to go. Now that we've got the accelerator pedal position and throttle valve closed position learned, we're going to start the engine and let it, and let it heat up to operating temperature. Before we start, we need to prepare the vehicle. We need to make sure that the battery and the charging system are in good condition, the engine at operating temperature, the transmission in park, the electrical loads need to be turned off. This includes the blower motor, headlamps, rear defrost, and any other electrical loads. The steering wheel needs to be in the straight ahead position. We need to be stopped and the transmission warmed up. Now once the engine is at operating temperature, we'll shut the key off and wait at least 10 seconds. And next, with the accelerator pedal released, we'll turn the key on and wait three seconds. Now we're going to depress and release the accelerator pedal five times within five seconds. We'll wait seven seconds now, and then we'll fully depress the accelerator pedal. We'll do this while we watch the service engine soon light. All right, after, after a few seconds, the engine light will start flashing. And once the light turns on, we'll release the pedal, start the engine and let it run. So after about 20 seconds of idle, we're going to rev the engine up a few times and make sure that the idle returns back to normal. And now the idle learn is complete. 